All right, guys. We're here at a little local pond. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here at a local creek today, here in Huntsville. Uh, gonna do a little fly fishing today. See how it goes. I have not been here in about a year, so I'm not sure what our water levels are like, what the temperature is, or if there's still fish here. But the last time I came, there was. So let's just hope they're they're still here. Uh, but we're gonna throw on the chest mount. Actually, it's already on, but we're gonna put the GoPro on the chest mount and uh, see if we can catch a few fish. Uh, wow, there's a lot of people down here, it's so weird, but it's all good, so. See if we can catch a few fish and uh, get a quality video, so let's go get them. All right, so we're walking up to our starting point. I wanna go show, kinda show the fly I'm starting with. This is a, called a boogle bug, and it's uh, basically just a normal fly. And it has a coating which uh, makes it what it is, and it's really hard to break. You know, you'll catch a bunch of fish and never have to worry about your popper messing up. And it's a guy that makes them. I would definitely go check them out because they are like invincible. I've had this thing for a long time, and you see just a little chip right there. And uh, this uh, hackle came off, but I just replaced it last night uh, with my vice and tie my own flies anyway. So I just fixed it up and uh, see if we can catch some here. So. Try it out. There's a bunch of brim tearing up this thing. They just don't seem to be big enough. Oh yeah, I forgot to even, oh, there he is. But yeah, I forgot to mention what I was even fishing for. I'm uh, doing a little bit of brim fishing here, but I know there is some bass in this, uh, this creek too. Wow, that's a pretty red rest. Uh, I know there's some bass in this creek that can be kind of tricky to to catch, but that's a that's a pretty good little red breast there in long gear. So yeah, brown bass, whatever. Having a good time down at the creek. So there's the first one. Let's go catch some more bigger brim. All right, I'm gonna actually get in the water. There he is. Get some more. All right, so I just tried tried out my mic. I'm trying it out again right now. Oh, that was some garbage there. Uh, but it, it wasn't quite sounding like I wanted it to sound. So we'll see if this sounds better. If not, we'll just stick with the uh, the standard mic. The brim are getting on bed right now, which is super fun time to fly fish. When you can just oh, this is some deep mud when you can just get around them and throw on top of their little beds that's extremely fun to do I've seen a couple little bass over here whoa oh that's a, there we go there we go that's a bass well, wow. talking about how they can be hard to catch in here. And let me tell you, they really can, but that's sweet. Thank you. Yeah. I came here a lot last summer trying to catch these puppies, and they were they were tough. But this may be a new fun. Looky there, we got our first bass, and we haven't been here five minutes. Heck yeah. Well, if we could keep that up to date, it's gonna be a nice little buddy. But there we go, first bass on the fly <laughs> this year, 2017. Here we come. So, got the bass, get that little release on. There it goes. All right, let's do some more. All right, so excuse the microphone sounds that you just heard. There's different types. I was trying out the microphone settings, I didn't get them quite tuned in at home, so I'll fix that later. But I was just letting you know that's what it was, and I'm just gonna leave without a microphone now on until I get it fixed, and we'll uh, we'll try that out. So let's go get some more. Okay, this this spot is real juiced up. My GoPro is being kind of weird right now. Like every time I try to go back and check a video, it's uh, it's like restarting the whole camera. So I think I got that figured out too. 
super duper juiced up as I say that. So it's super juiced up. Uh, obviously, there has not been like any pressure here this year because I'm pretty sure later on the summer there will be. Uh, it'll be pretty. A little harder to catch these fish, but we'll enjoy it for now and uh, keep catching some. I got one of his attention right there. You ready? I think I am gonna zoom in a little while just so you can see the these little oh these little fish hitting the. Well, I didn't even know I had them, but it is super fun to watch these little things hit a fly. It's like 24/7 top water. Sweet. All right, another little brim. It's a juicy little spot we got. There he is. Oh, in some grass. There he goes. So you're wondering if you see my bot, my rod, bend in half on a little brim like this. It's because of the type of rod I'm using. I'm using a seven and a half foot, seven six. Uh, Cabela's TQR rod, so it's five weight, so it's it's giving a big bend every kind of fish we catch, so makes it more fun and all that. Nice little red breast, about hand size. Oh! Alright, finally passed all these people with spinning rods and bait casters and three little hoodlums up there trying to catch brim on a bait caster with a micro jig on like a freaking giant eight foot rod. I don't know what they're thinking, but one of those type of people, so. I only moved past them. They they kind of stole my juicy spot, but after they not only stole it but rocked through it and just went around stomping and didn't even catch a fish, was even worse. But anyways, I'm gonna keep moving on and see if we can catch more in this little creek. Huh? Fl fly fishing. Oh, that might be a bass right there. Ma'am? Fly fishing. Oh, that's another turn. You got a little you got a little fly at the end. That puppy right there. And then you you, you cast it. Lays down the fish gets it. Just like that. Simple. <laughs> yep. You want a fish, huh? That was a eventful. There he is. All right. Go get some more. Whoa. Oh, that was some cringy noises about to go on right there. I heard that. Alright, so in these creek systems, uh, there is a very fine line in between whether you should walk upstream or downstream. Uh, it's all, uh, one of them is just opinion. And uh, also just how which one is going to work better for your situation. Uh, I personally normally would prefer to walk downstream. Uh, just because how your lure, how you can work it, you can work it much better. Um, with, that, with the current going against it. Uh, you can 
Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of upfalls. You can walk easier. You don't have to go against the current and all that. Uh, but there are some downfalls to it, too. Uh, one of those being your stealthiness. There's one. Uh, when, you, when you're walking, uh, you're going to have a little bit of mud, you know, from where you're, you're walking or kicking up. And it's going to be flowing downstream while and the fish uh, while you're walking and all that. But the fish are going to pick up on that. Oh, dude. So the fish are going to pick up on that mud or your, or your noise when you're walking. And they're probably going to be like, hey, you know, what's up with all this noise and mud going downstream? And you're going to dirty up the water and you're going to scare some of your stuff downstream. But also when you're walking upstream, that prevents that. And you know your your mud's gonna be going behind you past where you've already fished. Um, but also with lure mechanics, and when you when you are walking upstream, you're gonna have to work your lure a lot faster because especially with these flies, you put that puppy on top of some swift water, it's gonna come flying back to you. So you're gonna have to you know pull real fast. There, that's the upsides and downsides of walking upstream versus downstream, and it is actually definitely something to consider. And, uh, you know, per personal preference and all that would definitely come into play with that. But something to consider when you're going in creeks, especially uh, heavily fished creeks, you're pr probably your best bet's going to be going upstream, you know, for stealthiness. But this one's pretty heavily pressured. I've seen at least three or four people here fishing but with a fly rod you're also a lot more finesse tactic anyway so it's not going to really matter so that's my little tidbit of this trip now I can shut up talking and get back to fishing right here I bet I got one of that cast right there that is a fish watch this bam what did I tell you oh that's at least a good 10 pounder Oh man, he's fighting so hard. What am I gonna do? I can't even pull him in. He's coming so fast. Wow. Yeah, yeah, let me. Oh, he got off at the boat. No. That thing was a good two inches. Good two inches. All right. Walking through this part of the creek to get to my next hole. So if you got any local creeks near your house or whatever, go check them out. You never know. There will always be hidden gems. And in my case, it seems like every boy in Huntsville, like it seemed like last summer I did not see one person fishing any of my ponds, any of my creeks. I had everything to myself. But this year, uh, it just seemed like everybody decided they're going to be a bass fisherman. And they're all bringing bait casters to my fly fishing creeks, and the the thing goes on. Oh! All right, guys. So I'm coming up on what probably is a pretty juicy spot. Not sure, but if you can ever find a little hole between where this real shallow water is right here, and then there's a little section of deep water, which I think is right there and then it gets to shallow water again, you will probably catch some kind of fish in there. Am I gonna guarantee that? Heck no. Am I gonna almost assure you? Yes. Now right here, I'm, I'm not really feeling this spot, but this is this is to the right of where I'm wanting to go. See, I already got a little hit. But look, we're gonna walk right over here on this pipe and you can kind of see that calm water right there. That's where they're gonna be. And if you got a, a wet fly, which means they, Submerge under the water, you know, underwater. Uh, then there's little deep sections right there. All right. So here's one of those little sections I was talking about. Let's see if uh, the fish, like I was talking about, are there. That was a garbage cast, but look at here. Once I get to that good cast, that's a fish right there. You're in, well, I'm not gonna guarantee it, but. Looky there. Oh, he had not. Oh, he got it. That look. So that's exactly. He was in exactly the place he was supposed to be. What I was talking about. Everything. He is uh, in a little deep section of water. Right beside shallow, and you can see it get bigger right there. It's deeper. And this 
dude is right where he's supposed to be, right in the deeper water. Uh, that's what you're going to be looking for if you're ever in a, in a shallow creek. There's little deep holes. Let's see if we can catch his buddies. Alright guys, so that's the end of our uh, creek fishing today. Uh, last video, you know, the trout fishing, <laughs> me and Garrett definitely weren't in our element. Uh, he has never gone before. I've gone four times probably. But uh, it's nice to get back uh, in Alabama and, and the creeks, which it wasn't like we went to Africa and came back. So it wasn't like nice to be back in the States. But we were trout fishing in the cold water, stuff we're not really used to. but. It was fun while it lasted, a good little experience. But it was nice to be back in these warm water creeks, catching some brim, a lot of brim. And finally, I'm glad we caught that bass. It wouldn't have been as exciting, but it's good to be back. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the lighting is getting probably really bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was, but we good. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned weekly for updates. I'm putting videos up on Thursdays. Yeah, I'm say that again. Thursdays, the weekly update. It will be Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Wednesday if I get it early updated. Um, late Thursday night if I'm late doing it. So, but no matter what, there'll be a new one up every Thursday. Um basically it so uh thanks for tuning in to this episode of uh, malcolm patton fishing thanks for watching it hope you enjoyed it drop a a like if uh you enjoyed it and uh subscribe if you're ready for those weekly updates with some more dope videos coming out so appreciate your support appreciate you watching and see you next time I just caught the hugest bluegill. I mean, this puppy is a beast, and I somehow did not get it on freaking camera or video, but this is a giant brim right here. I explained really big, but definitely the biggest one I caught all day. He gone. All right, well, that does it.